Meta recently launched Meta AI which can be utilized as a replacement of ChatGPT. They introduced some of the capabilities which can feel like magic and it is not available elsewhere. In this video let me show you some of the ways how Meta AI can be used from your web browser and hopefully you will be able to use those in your day to day activities. I will not ask you to like or subscribe my video now. I would request you to watch it till end and if you get some value then only you can consider liking this video or subscribing to my channel to watch similar content in future. So currently I am in Google homepage and if I just type meta.ai then we will be able to see this particular interface. So this is the landing page of Meta AI. It's a clean interface with very few controls. I'll talk about those controls down the line. But let me first show you. You can see that it's showing few of the prompt example. You can click on any of them and you can start working. If you're not happy with any of these prompts, you can click on this particular button and it will show you some more options. So if you click on any of the option, it will start generating the details for you. So what I've done, I just clicked on that option that make my email sound more professional and it started asking some of the questions and once the required details will be provided, it will generate the content. Now one thing let me do here, let me log in in this tool because otherwise this conversation will not be saved. In case you are just using this tool without logging in, you will not be able to refer your chats later. So let me click on login. There are a couple of options. One is using the Facebook and another one using Instagram. What I'll do, I'll click on Facebook and let me log in. So currently it's logging me in and you can see it already pulled out my profile. Earlier I logged in using this account. That's why it's automatically took my credentials. However, for you, it may take you to the Facebook authentication page once before you log in. Let me show you some of the very good examples here. First, you can click on new conversation to start a new chat and you will be landed in the same interface what we saw in the initial stage and it will give you some of the prompts. If you have any specific requirement, the way you use ChatGPT or, or other LLM models, similar way you can ask questions here. So if I use one of the prompt I used in one of my earlier video on PowerPoint generation, if I just paste that particular prompt and I hit enter, it will start generating content for me. So what I'm requesting, I'm requesting for a structure of a PowerPoint presentation and it started giving the slide by slide what will be the content. So this is the way you will be able to interact with Meta AI for your regular usage. Now before I show you the magic, I'm in process to record one comprehensive online course covering ChatGPT, Microsoft Copilot and Google Gemini. It will be a comprehensive course covering all available features of these tools and few other prominent tools also. I have added one link in the description below, which is a Google form link. Please fill up that form so that I can send you a 70% discount coupon code once the course will be live. Now let me show you the most important feature which they introduced in this particular tool. If you click on imagine, it will give you options to generate images. Now one thing to talk about here, using the chat GPT free plan, image generation is not possible. However, this tool is absolutely for free and it generates stunning images. I'm a regular user of chat GPT paid plan and using that tool, I generate my thumbnails and those images what you see in this particular channel. However, the quality of images Meta AI is generating with the free options that is incredible. So you don't need to pay a penny to get these images generated. Here you can see it's showing you some of the clues. How can you use this particular tool? Maybe if I click on a, a doc professor and it will generate the image for me. What it will do, it will generate four different options and you can work on those options further. If I open this image and I'll show you other options here. First of all, if you are not happy with the image, you can regenerate it by clicking on this particular regenerate button. That's one. Second is there is one option of edit. If you click on that, you will be able to reprompt on this particular image and you will be able to regenerate based on your requirement. And I'll talk about this animate option in a while and where you will be able to relate to it in a better way. But meanwhile, if I come here now in the top right corner of this tool, you will be able to click on this particular icon to download the image. You can see this particular image got downloaded. This option you can use to share this particular image with another person. If I click on that, what it will do, it will give you an option to generate a link. And if I click on this copy link, I'll be able to share this particular link with anyone and they will also be able to start working with that. 
If I open a new tab and I just paste that link, it will open that image there. You can see it's showing that image and it is also showing that which prompt was used to generate this image on which date. And it will give option to the other person also to try the prompt on Meta AI and they will be able to prompt or reprompt to generate the image as per their liking. Now, if I come back here and close this particular option, then you can see another icon that is save or unsave. Whenever I'm sharing any of the image, it automatically gets saved. In a little while, I'll show you one option. What's the relevance of this save or unsave? And if I click on this cross, it will be closed. Another thing is there, whatever the four images it generated initially, those all are available here. If I click on any of them, that image will pop up. Now, let me show you one option which will blow your mind and you will feel like it's a magic. If I click on imagine again, now I come here and I just type imagine then space. Now just watch what happens. Uh, golden. Once I'm typing that, you can see it started generating the image. It doesn't have any context. I just typed a golden. So it generated one golden image. Now I typed a golden retriever. Now you can see the quality of image it generated on spot. It's a dynamic image generation. You don't need to wait after pressing enter or something. It's on the go, it's generating for you. And this is not available in ChatGPT paid plan also. And just check the quality of the image. It is so real, you will be able to use this kind of image anywhere. Now only one thing, there will be a very small watermark, which is negligible. Now, let me download this image because I like this image and I also have a golden retriever. So I like this image and let me click on download. And if I just type again, imagine a golden retriever and this time you can see it generated a different image also. Now, let me type walking in a street. Earlier, the image was in a park and now it became a street of Kolkata. Now you can see the background got changed. It is now resonating with an image of Kolkata with his, I just typed with his. And now if I type owner on a rainy day, now you can see I just typed a golden retriever dog walking in the street of Kolkata with his owner on a rainy day. This is the way you will be able to play with this particular tool. You can type anything and it will generate those images on spot. Now, if I hit enter, what it will do, it will generate four different options. Let me do that. Now it will use one image here and other three is generating. Now, let me show you the next magic I was talking about. If I click on this particular image, it will get expanded. And if I click on animate now, let's see what happens. Now you can see the same image got animated and just with a single click, you will be able to do it. And this is so good. You can see the way it generated. It's a small one. It's an GIF image and you can download is an MP4 video. Also, if I click on this particular option of download, it will download as an MP4 file. So you can generate any kind of images in this way and you will be able to use anywhere. Now, this is the way you can animate any of the image, but you can do it from prompt also. You just need to type animate. Let me show you very quickly. Now, if I come to imagine again, and then I just type slash imagine a cat in a magical park. Now it generated the image. And if I hit enter, then it will generate the other images also. And if we use now this particular prompt animate, then it will start working and it will animate those images. So one way is you can use those buttons to animate or you can type here as an animate and all four images will get animated. So isn't it a cool feature? So this is something which is not available in ChatGPT paid plan. Also what I was mentioning in the beginning of this video. Now we checked out how to generate images and how to animate those images also, which are the two most prominent features compared to any other LLM models. You can use this tool for any other purposes also, like the way we prompt other LLM models with our text prompt. So now let me show you a few of the options which are available within this Meta AI tool. If you click on this particular icon, it will start a new conversation. So these two options are same and here you will be getting same result. If you click on this particular close option, this pane will get closed and it can be brought in again by clicking on this particular option. We already checked what Imagine tab does. And now if I click on saved, Whenever we are sharing any of the link, those links automatically get saved, be it an image, be it a text prompt also. Those all saved prompts or images will be saved here and you'll be able to access it from here. 
so this is history whatever the chats whatever way you have done so all those histories are available here if you click on your profile picture and you go to settings then only couple of options are there that's the appearance will it be light dark or the automatic one now this is one option second one is you can download all of your information what are the information you already shared with meta and another option is delete all of your information if you want to delete your account altogether you can delete this information from here and then you can deactivate meta ai now these are the very few options are available another very good feature is available that is in ai demos if you click on that it will open in a different window and meta is working on different other opportunities in generative ai field you can check all those details here and you can try out those tools also i'm in process to record another dedicated video covering some of those features if you want to see those contents please consider subscribing to my channel hope you learned something new today if you got any value from this video please like this video also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to watch similar content in future in my channel i also have multiple different videos where i cover chat gpt google semini and microsoft copilot and different other ai based tools you can check those videos to know more about it if you want to know how can you use meta ai from your mobile devices within whatsapp application then check out this video to know everything about it